it's the Rat along with Squeaks, and it's time for some more Donkey Kong Country 3, taking a little detour onto the Game Boy Advance version. But why would we do that? All the audience people are wondering. Because we're showing off an exclusive level. Oh, it just got eaten. Let's cut it. But yeah, we're looking at an exclusive world that was actually in the GBA version and not the Super Nintendo. Also, premature Nautilus for some reason. Read some more questions and answers. Like, what is this? I don't know what this is. Do you know what this is? You won't find out until you beat the entire game, like 100%. Right, I've already played us up to where we need to be, so let's get right to it. So to get to this secret world, we actually need to take a break and catch some rays, you know what I mean? Right, we need to go to that area of the map that we normally wouldn't be able to get to until we got the gyro. Copter. It opens up when we uh, get access to K3 and Razor Ridge. And actually, speaking of K3 and Razor Ridge, I mistakenly said that uh, when we opened K3 and Razor Ridge, that we would have access to both levels, and then it turned out we could only go to K3. That's because I had it confused with this version of the game, where you can go to either of those levels in any order you want. You have those two, as well as this one, Pacifica. It's a bunch of water. Yeah. Where did all this land come from? Yeah, until now, Cotton Top Cove was, I guess, the obligatory water level of the game. Now it's this. Which, so, you know, to be totally fair, Cotton Top Cove had, like, what, two, three water levels? Yeah. Oh. Anyway, here's our first one, Dingy Drain Pipe. Yeah, there's a lot of drain levels here for some reason. Whoa! That was really bad, smart. Give me protection, kitty! No. Was it worth it? Oh. Well, that was fun. Kitty, get me up there. I don't want to. And yeah, I've only played this uh, thing a handful of times, but uh, I, I think I still remember what most of this stuff is. <laughs> Barrels. It's like a barrel of monkeys. It's so funny. Another thing you might have noticed is that the soundtrack is not quite the same as on the Super Nintendo version. This is because they decided to make a brand new soundtrack for the GBA remake, although they were going to include both soundtracks. They did not have room on the GBA to put both soundtracks, so they just used the new one, which was also composed by David Wise. Why so many lurchins? What are they doing in a drain pipe? That's not where our urchins belong. So, uh, yeah, the bonus levels in this new world are, well, a little lacking, I'll say that. I guess that one wasn't bad, but... <laughs> it was still kind of... Mm. Needs more bombless pits! I never thought I'd say that. I mean, I'm not one to be looking for ways to make the game harder. Yes, you are. It certainly would make it more interesting. Ah! Oh god, these Coco. Yeah, they kind of blend in with the background here. Why didn't they, they, just... they just use the red ones? Yeah, why aren't they red? There's a red Coco. There's a red Coco in the Game Boy Advance version, right? Um, I believe so. I think we're gonna see red. Then why would they not use it? What purpose would that serve? It'd be like, oh, strain your eyes, die in the fire. Getting old fair points out here. Well, you know, I mean, you want them that much. Oh, oh, that was fun. That reminds me of that. Huh? That reminds me of that time in Top Sail. Uh, it was, Top uh, Sail level from Donkey Kong Country Top Sail Trouble? Where we killed all those neeks in a row. Top Sail fun. Trouble. Yeah. Unguard! Every water level. Every single one. You know the ones that weren't there originally. I've got a perfect attunement to that cool. Kill all the Coco. Unfortunately, his uh, stay here is short lived because already we lose him. Ah! And Kitty! No! That's amusing. <laughs> Just a few bananas over here. 
Not even a banana plunge. That would have made at least a little more enticing to come over here. No, you can't have banana bunches. That bear coin's not worth it. Let's say don't you <laughs> go for it. How are you in the... Okay, <laughs> that makes a little more sense. And yeah, you saw those lurchins just came down through the walls as the water was lower. Whoa, jeez, they came flying in. Oh, when the bristles come flying in. Oh, when the bristles come flying in. Oh, God I dang it, Red. I think that I needed you. Yeah, when the bristles came flying in. Uh-oh, Well, it's not that rocket. Barrel, Thank so. God. Am I supposed to go down? Yes, you are. I, I think so. What? Oh. Yeah, it was so worth that. Whoa. And that's the end of that level. And I Guess who gets credit? Guess who's coming back? No! <laughs> well, we're still going to show all the bonuses, so back we go. Red Blur speeds by Bristle the Hedgehog. Okay. Too fast for those monkey missed. guys. Bristle the Hedgehog. Bristle, he can really fast. move. He doesn't really have an attitude. Bristle, he's not down. really particularly fast. Fat. They're lucky you're fat. There's one other thing that we have to find out near the end. Uh, if you insist, we're close enough. Does it require both of us or can I kill you? No, I'd be up there. Bear oh, coins! That was worth it! Oh, ow! Cry some more! Right, so now that we have everything. On to the next one, Barnacle. Oh, this is Barnacle's Island. Yeah, they moved Barnacle over to this new world and put a new bear over in Lake Orangutan. Aye, hello there. How's it going, Kongs? Barnacle's me name, and I set out home here to help build up me shell collection. I used to do a bit of scuba diving, but I gave it up on account of the shark that's made its way into my home. It's be washing me. I take it easy here at home. It's always watching. Keeping an eye on your shark. Making sure don't make no sudden movements. You gotta watch them sharks, ah! Huh? Have you seen me shell collection? It's nearly complete. I'll I've got conical shark sharks. Sorry, I've got conical shells, the little spinny shells, like a nautilus shell. I've got like clam shells and seashells and a shark shell. You can see it there in the back. It's trying to eat me. This bird's a friendly friend, though, isn't he? I got him as bait for the shark. He just flew in here, so I decided to keep him against his will. I'm like that. You know, I don't think there's anything that could potentially cause me to persuade to get rid of this bird. I'm pretty sure it's the only reason the shark hasn't eaten me by now. K Kongs? Kongs? I am so lonely. <laughs> okay, Stormy Seas. This is actually a pretty interesting level. Colors. Looks like the first level, Lakeside Limbo. But then it's not! That stupid noise. This stuff's a little harder to see in the water. Oh, and yeah, there is actually music at this level. It just starts up after a bit. Oh, well, just sea sounds. That was a little risky. Nothing's too risky for Kitty Kong. Oh. <laughs> Except for a scary. Then he risks looking useful. Yeah, see? <laughs> that is just too much. Dead. Check all the rooftops. Bananas. More bananas, but not as many. Banana. Oh, hang on. Gotta fat this up. Unleash the fat. Kitty smash! Twenty bananas on back of that. That's Nibla. Ah, the 
Are you gonna collect those bananas? Cause I'm on you. I'm watching you. you get those bananas. Better hurry. I'm gonna catch you. I'm gonna catch you. Yeah, try doing this with Kitty. <laughs> you know what I just realized? What the heck is holding that barrel up? If you look, all you see is Clasp's arms. Right. What is holding the barrel up? Gravity should be pulling that barrel off. Is he like his legs must be just like pressed against the sides, like. Ugh! Also, he had to stop taking a breather there for a second. Also, I like how they gave us a full cool minute to do this bonus. <laughs> I did luck. Uh, seriously, what is Clasp like? He has to be like the tiniest Kremlin with the longest arms. He has his legs just pressed against that barrel as tight as he can to hold him up. It's okay, I'll spin dash it! Yeah. Hi, Dixie. Recovered from that, like, third degree burns? Sort of. Also, on guard behind us. Spoilers! He's got a pretty nice, uh, dash here. Engage! No! Oh! Yeah. Oh, sounds like a deflated balloon there. Dead! Didn't we establish there's nothing of value up here? I don't know. Probably not. Oh, Unless God. You really want that bear coin. Oh, I gotta have the bear coin. Oh jeez, no, screw that. <laughs> Gotta have the bear coin. <laughs> oh, ah! I wanna bounce. Yeah. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Sink. Sink to your briny deep. Death. Nice. Wait, were those bananas in the foreground just now? <laughs> Yeah, where have you collected them? Yeah, bear coins. Uh, oh, no, you can't ram those barrels into the other ones, so don't try. <gasps> Aw. <laughs> Sink. You know it would be funny if you hit one of the cocos with that? I would laugh. I would laugh at their stupid, stupid faces. You found a way to blow up coco. Yay. Saw it off, Neeks. Oh wait, no, Neek was the, the rat and Donkey Kong Country. Right, What's this is Sneak. Yeah, it's totally different, you guys. <laughs> Alright, coin. You set up the steel barrels. What about explosive bar- Damn, that is some good armor. Can I, can I have some of that? <laughs> like Kitty needs it. Fatness. Oh. oh. <laughs> I hope that thing came back, okay. It didn't look like it wouldn't come back, but... Fatness. And I saw a bonus level. Hello, Baza. <laughs> look, we got an extra life! To go with the 50 that we started with. <laughs> yeah, it's nice that this game actually remembers your life now. So hard. Yeah, the only real challenge there with the puzzles, and even that was kind of a... Uh, at this point in the game, you have to remember, you would have had to have cleared, like... Oh, OH MY GOD! Guys! <laughs> it's okay, I'll spin dash it! I already made that joke! Shut up! Oh man, I did like this whole level and you get credit for it! Screw you! Tee hee! <laughs> well, it's okay, because I have to relinquish control right away. <laughs> All part of my grand master plan. And over here we have Swanky's Dash, our new mini game. Why are you wearing your? That comes with a DK barrel. <laughs> oh, Kongs, you want to have a go? You can well win. You never know. Also, that's the same sprite for Donkey Kong Country too. Will you give it a try? Sure. Sorry, Kitty. Don't mind us allowed, but don't be sad. It's not all that bad. It's up to you, Dixie. <laughs> what? Am I not good enough for you, Kitty? Yeah. You're not good enough for anyone. No, you don't even get the sad violin. Literally, no one cares. Try collect as many gold stars as you can before time runs out. 
Watch out for the spiky obstructions. Those hidden knees will make you drop any stone you might have collected. Pressing the A button will make you jump, or pressing down will make you duck. Yeah, this is a little disorienting. Oh god. Like, teleport in like Mega Man, and then you uh, just sort of run around and collect stars. Uh, avoiding spike balls. Oh, Jesus. Do not like. Uh. Did you slide under that? Yes. I like how I didn't get like any of those stars. Yeah, the hit detection of the stars is very exacting. Uh. Uh. Imagine playing this on the Game Boy screen. Yeah, like, really? This is tricky enough with, like, the full screen. There's no way you'd be able to get up. Oh, I guess you had to, ah! I guess you had to jump. Oh, I lost every single star. <laughs> That's bullshit. I had that going so well. <laughs> Best score, one. What? You got one. That's not good enough. You really must try harder, you filthy scrub. <laughs> I suggest avoiding the spikes. <laughs> Thank you! I can't believe it! Here's a consolation prize to go away with! Um. <laughs> I would have laughed if you just gave us one banana. <laughs> I thought he was going to give us one. Uh, I'm gonna try that again. Yeah, okay. Because gonna... okay. I just hate myself. So much. Just jump to those top ones. I forgot you could jump. <laughs> Uh, I don't like this game. Oh, I really don't like this. Gotta game. get that ice score. Yeah, I, I got you. Gotta catch him all. Oh wait, no, this. Jump this one. I wanna jump it. Jump that. <gasps> oh jeez. Okay, that's a little respectable score, I think. But well, Swanky thinks so. 93, that's got Yeah, 93 out of 108. That's not good enough! You what? really must try hard! F*** you and your f***ing rigged that <laughs> bull again! Stuff him in there, we'll see if- I suggest avoiding the spiky balls! I didn't hit any spiky balls! <laughs> Was the prize at least decent? Nope, exactly the same. And f*** this guy. Get one star or 93 stars, that's- Just as good. You're still also, a filthy scrub. Is there anything over here? Possibly a banana bird in the cave. You know, the one that would normally go here. Uh... Good! <laughs> Come on in, Dixie! The leaves are fine! <laughs> so, yeah, a little uh, graphic error there. <laughs> also, I love how much bigger Dixie is than Kitty. Holy <laughs> shit, yeah, what the hell? He's <laughs> Gojira! Sunken Spruce. This is an interesting level, I think. Or at least we'll look that way when we get further down. Trees and water! You get one shot, because we can't get back up there. Good job, Kitty! I'm so useful! Uh... Ooh. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of suddenly cocos in this level. And, uh, lurchins. You know, the stuff you don't normally see in a woods level. What are you doing down here? Oh, guarding a banana bunch. Cool. Yeah, remember we're at that point in the game where banana bunches are gonna be harder to come by. You imagine that, like, Kremlin pet rally there. Okay, Coco, I have this very important mission for you. I need you to guard this bunch of bananas. Just hands and bananas. Like, right, also, we just passed a couple of bounty passes, and we can't actually kill them. Because the Kong still can't attack underwater without a swordfish! Yeah, this is like the only world I can think of, the only levels that have like the bounty bass, which is supposed to be, you know, you kill it, you get a collectible item or something, and they're not meant to be killed, they're meant to be like actual enemies, and that's weird. I'm not sure how I feel about that. It, it kind of makes me wonder what they're programmed with. Like, if you were to hack in a guard and then kill them, what would they drop? Maybe a single banana? Maybe. 
Maybe they drop in a game crash. Maybe they drop Why in they a missing note. There? There's nothing there. You just kill the bounty bass and it drops a missing note. Hey guys, we me. Well, no problem so far. Too easy. Piece of crap. Really, I just like the aesthetic of this level more than anything else. I like the ruins in the background. You know they've been there this whole time. You know their heights. Bonus level and stuff, yeah, bonuses and bonuses, and hey, look, there's lots of stars and stuff, where is all the challenge of this? What? Wait. There is no challenge because you're fat. This is literally the whole bonus stage, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh my god. And they also give you an excessive amount of time to do this. No, I'm sorry, I take that earlier comment back. That was too easy! Piece of crap! Yeah, I just scratched my back. Thanks. Bounty Thanks. Bass! Thanks, Coco. They serve just be a larger enemy underwater. Do they even have a bigger hitbox? I don't really think they do. Well, we know Kitty does. I mean, at the very least, visual variety, I guess, but... You could've just had some no red Cocos. <laughs> um, but yeah, actually, for that matter... Bounty Bass is red, so if it's for visual variety, why don't they just use red cocos? I mean, why don't they just seen use yet. red cocos anyway? Were there red cocos in the last level? I think I saw one in the water in Stormy. I almost Stormy said Stormy Ascent. Also, Minky is back. You know that Pokemon? Pokemon! Pokemon! That Who's Pokemon. that Pokemon? It's Minky! Whoa, hey, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, yeah. Was that ancient Chinese secrets up there? Oh, okay. little Buzz. Let's see. Nice! I like that ancient Chinese secret. And we have another bonus over here. Find the coin! Lots of bazas. Ah! Also... <laughs> right in the back of the neck. Yeah, that Did failure, it freeze? Oh. That failure tube goes on way too long. I thought it froze for a second. Oh my god, there's a bear coin out there. Thanks. That was worth the trouble. <laughs> Honestly, Kitty's bigger hitbox is working against the gear. I'm gonna get a little thing like a bigger hitbox on me. I'm Kitty Kong, the worst there ever was. I'm so bad, these bazes won't even touch me out of fear of con catching my awfulness. See, they're like, oh, dude, stay away from that guy, he'll make you sick. That's my secret weapon. That's why I'm so much better at this game than Red, because the enemies aren't... It's not that I have an easier time with the enemies, it's just they don't want to risk catching the kitty. I'm like a contagious... Oh, God! <laughs> oh. I mean, Good! Two up comes back. Good. We saw it there for a brief second, but yeah, Dixie actually has a teetering animation in this game. But Kitty doesn't. Make this yeah, there it is. Uh, push off. I guess they can give one to Kitty because he's probably too dumb to realize that he's on the edge. His like teetering animation would be like looking down, inching slowly, fall. <laughs> and then actually fall. Like it'll program it to push it off the side. Alright, let's see if we can get the coin this time. I'm a smart this time! Yeah! I did it! Oh yeah! Kitty Kong, Kitty Kong. Kitty Kong! Kitty Kong! Pow! Oh! Forget it. <laughs> hey, hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see some more of the Donkey Kong Country series, you can click up here to watch us play through the first game, or you can click down below to watch us play Donkey Kong Country 2. It's the best! And for more fun times, be sure to check out Squeaky's channel, because when it comes to gaming entertainment, the nose knows. Ah, I'm so clever! I'm not sure if I should be offended. And if you like our content, well, 
you know where the like and subscribe buttons are. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time as we continue killing off the entire Coco population. <laughs> entire team is dead.